When buying a new ship in Star Citizen, players are usually looking for a vehicle that serves a specific purpose at the time, and the shops around Reverse carry a wide range of ships to suit every interest. But what if I told you there was one ship that did everything? I'm TJ, and this is the Crusader Hercules. Let's start by taking a look at the attributes that players generally want their ships to have in Star Citizen. Habitation, a logout bed and some amenities. Cargo space, for both deliverers and trading. Combat ability, for high risk bounty hunting. A hangar, for carrying smaller ships and ground vehicles. Reliability, so your mission isn't ruined by bugs. And on the more subjective side, something that looks cool at the spaceport. In my fleet, I have a ship for every one of these use cases, but no single ship that does it all until now. Let's take a look in detail. When it comes to HABs, most ships in reverse fulfil this purpose, however, not all of them have logical interior layouts or are somewhere you'd actually want to spend time. The Hercules has two main decks, the lower deck is a hold and the upper floor consists of a central hallway with a room either side along the bulkheads. The flight deck is located at the front of the upper deck and there's both ladder and elevator access between the decks. The HAB areas are also, well, habitable with every amenity you could want, as well as a comfortable feel and customizable lighting. Cargo space is an important attribute in Star Citizen. Although at the time of recording, trading is hugely risky and not very profitable, players still want a ship in their fleet that can haul a decent amount of stuff. And boy, can the Hercules haul a decent amount of stuff. With nearly 700 SCU of storage, it has the largest cargo hold in the game right now, even more so than the Drake Caterpillar, and most importantly, the cat doesn't tick a lot of the other boxes on our big list of attributes either. For all ships in Star Citizen, some combat ability is important, but there's a world of difference between something like Avenger Titan, that can competently defend itself against pirates, and the tanky Origin 600i, which can hunt down and vaporise VHRTs in seconds. The Hercules sits firmly in the second camp, its size 4 Gatling guns and turrets can seek and destroy most bounties, and the size 3 shields can take one hell of a battering before giving way. Let's just take a moment to review what we have so far. A comfortable hab that contains everything you could want, the largest cargo hold of any ship in reverse, and combat ability to rival the tankiest ships in game. Like what you see, but wait, there's more. The ability to carry vehicles in Star Citizen varies hugely across the fleet. At the smaller ends we have nomads and cutlasses that can carry rocks and PTVs, in the middle is the Karak which can accommodate a C8 or 85X, and at the upper end there are capital ships like the 890 Jump which can carry a 300i or Sabre in its hangar. All of those ships have trade-offs. The small vehicle carriers have limited combat and cargo ability, the Karak an elevator which can suffer issues, and the 890 Jump, considering its size, has very limited cargo capacity and an unreliable elevator. The Hercules can not only transport vehicles and ships, but it also has a super reliable ramp instead of a fiddly elevator. This brings us on to reliability. For every single use case of the Hercules, there's a largely bug-free method of access. The ship itself is accessed by ramps at the front and rear. We've all had issues with elevators in the Connie, for example, where we've jumped off without realising the ship is actually two metres above the surface. This isn't an issue in the Hercules, with a ramp that extends to the very bottom of the gear like an Avenger Titan. For access to upper deck hubs, although there is an elevator, we also have a traditional ladder, which removes the issues with elevators between decks that we see in other ships. Most importantly, when loading vehicles, we're no longer dependent on hangar elevators and doors which can be buggy, just drive up the ramp or fly straight in. Our final point to cover is cool factor. On top of all the practical benefits, the Hercules looks just as awesome to turn up in as a 600i. So to summarise in Hercules we have a reliable ship with vehicle carrying ability in line with a Karak, the largest amount of cargo space in reverse, excellent combat ability, a top tier hab with everything you could want and some seriously good looks. I believe that right now this is the only ship you need in Star Citizen, unless you do asteroid mining of course, although it is true that further down the line there are some specific gameplay loops for Hercules won't be suitable for. There's no medbay like the Cutlass Red or Karak, so no opportunity for medical gameplay, it doesn't appear to be able to refine or transfer fuel like the Starfarer, and it certainly can't retrieve and process scrap like the Reclaimer. But for what we have right now, what more could you want?